Yo, Sidewinder. Look at this. That's a Sidewinder. Look at the little horns on top. What's going on guys? I'm Zachary Gray and today we're out in the Arizona desert looking for Sidewinders. This is absolutely Sidewinder territory. Now we're most likely going to see them either out in the open or sitting along a wash under a tree. Very common species in this area and a very special snake to find. Let's go. Yo, check this out. Come here little buddy. Oh, come here. Don't want to grab his tail because they can detach their tails. Come here. Got you. Oh, check this out. That's a little baby banded gecko. This is a little desert dwelling gecko. We don't get anything like this in Louisiana. The only ones we get are Mediterranean and house geckos, which even those are an invasive species. These are a native gecko here, and they spend a lot of time in the desert. This is a little one. They get much bigger than this, and uh, he's, he's absolutely adorable. I really hope we find a big one while we're here, but uh, even if we don't, the little baby is very cool to see. They've got a lot of yellow, and you can see why they call them a banded gecko. They've got all these little bands on them. There's a couple different species of banded gecko, and uh, you know I believe that this would be a western banded, but very cute little dude. Just kind of hold onto his foot and show him off. And they can detach their tail. That's why I'm not trying to touch his tail, and I'm trying to be very fragile picking him up. But very cute little gecko. And uh, yeah, let's see what else we can find. See you, little buddy. Come on, I'll take it. Yo, Sidewinder, look at this. That's a Sidewinder. Look at the little horns on top. I'm gonna take this, I'm just gonna put that there for now. And kind of turn off my light. And it's just sitting there. This is a really good spot for Sidewinders. And that's actually what we came here looking for. Now this species of rattlesnake stays small and they're called sidewinders because they had this crazy, crazy crawl. We're going to show you that in a minute. We're going to move him. I just kind of want to show you this is the undisturbed version of this snake. It's just sitting there, coiled up, not moving. And that's how people step on these guys. They'll come along. And it just looks like a little rock. I'm not very tuned in to all these different Arizona snakes. So that, to me, it looks like a rock. Now what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to get up here and I want to get us back into this little open spot with this snake and show you how it moves. It's okay. It's all right. Oh, oh, he's moving. He's moving. It's all right. Check that out. That is a sidewinder. Now, sidewinders are a very small species of rattlesnake, and look on top of its head. It's got these two little horns. That's an easy way to identify sidewinders and that weird way that they move, that little throwing the loop and moving sideways. That's why they're called a sidewinder. Now, of course, this is a species of rattlesnake, and they do have a really good rattle on them. But, you know, it's not one of those snakes that's really going to be super, super loud, but you will hear the rattle when you disturb them. This one's being pretty quiet right now. Now, the venom from this snake is a mostly hemotoxic venom, and they're going to be mostly hunting little rodents and a lot of little lizards. Most rattlesnakes in this area are going to be hunting kangaroo rats, uh, big brown rats, any kind of little mammals that they can get. They'll go into burrows and eat little baby mammals, and basically anything they can find, whether it's gophers or prairie dogs, anything that they can get, really. They're very opportunistic. Now, during the day, they're mostly going to be spending their time underground. They're going to be spending their time in a hole, and at night, they're going to be spending their time, just like what we just saw, coiled up, or they'll be out kind of cruising around looking for a good spot to sit because they're mostly ambush predators. That's how they like to find their food. And what will happen is they'll find like a kangaroo rat and they'll bite it. And kangaroo rats are pretty fast, so they'll like kick and get away from them. And then the kangaroo rat will go off somewhere and with that venom in them, they will die eventually. And they've got pits, heat seeking pits. And this is what pit vipers do is they follow the heat trail or a heat signature of an animal and find the dead animal that they envenomated and then they have their meal. You know, they don't eat it while it's alive. They don't constrict it or just grab it like a colubrid snake. They follow it and when it's dead, that's when they have their meal. The venom from this snake 
is pretty potent, meaning it has the possibility to kill a person, although that would be very rare. It does have the possibility to do so, so it has pretty good venom. Sidewinders are a very famous venomous snake, and this one is absolutely beautiful. Couldn't have asked for a better sidewinder. It is huge, it's pretty. It's got a very similar banding to uh, speckled and tiger rattlesnakes, but of course if you look at it, it looks very different, and the head structure on this snake looks very different to both of those. Just a heads up for the end of this video, while we were filming the outro, something really incredible happened. So when the music plays, keep watching because there is more to the video after that. Now what I really want to highlight for you guys is how this snake moves. Now I'm going to disturb him a little bit just to show that. Look at that. You see how that snake moves? It throws the loops. And that's why this snake is called a sidewinder. Very, very unique species of snake. Very unique rattlesnake. And look how tiny it is. This thing reminds me of a pygmy rattlesnake. It really does. It's very, very active. Very similar to a pygmy rattlesnake in a lot of ways. And it's just so special to get to see one of these. And I was really, really hoping we would. And I'm so glad that we actually were able to find one. Because this is just, this is an incredible species of snake that lives here in Arizona. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you did enjoy, definitely leave a like. And I will see you guys next time. Alright, see you later. No way, there's two. There's two, there's two. Dude, we were filming the outro for this snake, and it crawled on top of a second one. Do you see this? There's a second one, it's just a much bigger one. The other one we just let go, just kind of coiled up right next to that one. Didn't disturb it at all, but that's absolutely incredible. It goes to show you, there are definitely more of them out here that we are not seeing whatsoever. We were filming right next to the snake the entire time and didn't even know it. That's incredible. Two sidewinders right, right by each other. Where we found the other one is right over there, so I guess that this is a breeding pair. Most likely, because they were literally within 20 feet of each other. That's incredible trying to film an outro for a video and we find another sidewinder that's incredible absolute blessing and that's just amazing it's just amazing to see two sidewinders in one night guys you have no idea thank you guys so much for watching again and i'll see you dudes next time